change tonight for thousands of Orange County students. Yeah, they can now start enrolling to attend schools outside their assigned zone. New at 5, we are getting answers from school leaders about what parents need to know. New 6's Vanessa Ariza is live outside Jones High School. And Vanessa, this can be confusing for parents. What have you found out? That it can be, Lisa, and this is new for everyone out there. But if you are a parent or a guardian, there's one very important thing that you do need to know. There are restrictions, but we are here to walk you through it and get you results. The 2017-2018 school year is going to be a bit different for students across the state of Florida. A bill that passed last year in the legislature means students can transfer schools. This isn't a huge change for us. We've managed this in the past. The change is there, there's no more requirement that the school is over enrolled to go to an under enrolled. It's all under enrolled. Scott Howitt with Orange County School says not every school allows an open transfer option. In Orange County, it's the schools that are currently under enrolled. So we look at a five year projection of enrollment and based on that five year projection, if any year exceeds 90%, then that school would be eliminated from the from the potential pool of schools. So what does this mean for you if you're looking to transfer your child? You can transfer them to any county. However, it has to be a school that's offering open enrollment and you have to provide your own transportation. It's also important to note each county has their own open enrollment time frame for applications. So it's not based on first come first serve. We'll do it based on the number of slots available, and then um, if there's more that apply for those slots, then it'll be done on a lottery basis. Again, each county and their enrollment dates are different. Take, for example, Orange County here. If you do live within the county, you get to enroll earlier than if you were to live out of county. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll delve a little bit more into the details, what parents think, and how this could potentially be a little costly up front. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us. Thank you. And we are asking you what you think of this new policy. Join the conversation right now on our Facebook page. Just head to facebook.com slash news six.